In COM 101 in my class, you will be asked to do lots of outlines. And sometimes outlines cause problems for students if they're not quite sure how to use Microsoft Word to its capacity. Microsoft Word is awesome in that it does a lot of things for you. It does a lot of things automatically. Unfortunately, if you don't know how to use the automatic features, it can be very frustrating to use. So today I'm going to show you how to use the automatic features in Microsoft Word so you aren't trying to format things on your own using the tab key or the space bar and um, just making a big mess of things and taking way too much time to do something that should be very simple. So what I'm going to do is walk through how I set up any document before I begin working on it. So that's going to include just some basic features and also I'm going to take a look at how to do the header and then I'm going to show you how to create the outline and how to use the automatic formatting feature when you are creating an outline because it'll actually create a list for you. Alright so let's get started. I'm jumping right into a Microsoft Word document. I've already kind of been messing around with it before I started recording. So what I want to do is come right up here and make sure my font is okay. You're always using Times New Roman, so this is real easy just to drop down menu, Times New Roman. What size do I want? I want a 12, so I've selected that, good to go. The next thing I want to do is come over here to this paragraph button. I always want to make sure that I'm on double. A lot of times it'll come up on multiple, but double is just a little bit cleaner. So let's put it on double space, and we want to make sure that both of these numbers say zero. All right, so now that we have all of that ready to go, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to jump into my header. So all I did to get into that header was double click on the very top of my page. If for some reason that isn't working, you can always go to the insert tab over here and then you'll be able to go into your header right over here. All right, so back to where I was. All right, so what I'm looking for here, I wanna make sure I have this button selected, different first page. This is going to allow me to put a header on every page except for the very first one. Uh, so different first page. I have that selected. Now I'm going to come in here uh, into my text and then I can use text the same way that I do in the body. Um, so I'm going to change my font. So I want Times New Roman and I want 12 point font. I'm going to come back to this after I've done the outline and we're just going to touch up on it. But just know that that's how we get into that header. I double clicked right now back into my body now that I have everything set up and I'm just going to type what I should have on my first page. Name. Date. All right, great. The next thing that I do is I make sure I have a specific purpose, a thesis, and an organizational pattern on the top of all of my outlines. I'm just selecting topical here because that's how I have set up this tutorial today. All right, so enter again. Now I am ready to begin my actual outline. So the first thing I want to do, I want to label the section of my outline that I'm working on. So I'm going to start just how maybe you might be starting as you're doing your preparation outline, and that's with the intro. So come up here to the center button. I'm going to center the cursor so I can label that part of the speech. So again, I don't want to be using the space bar or the tab bar to try to guess where that center is because then if I type anything else around that area it might mess up that formatting so I'm just gonna let Word worry about it for me and it's gonna save me a lot of time All right, so I've centered that I'm going to hit enter now my cursor is going to stay centered but I don't want that I want it aligned to the left so jump back to the left and now I'm ready to go 
So whenever we are labeling main points or sections of our introduction or conclusion, main sections, we're going to label them with a Roman numeral. So believe it or not, I get a lot of students that say to me, I don't have any Roman numerals on my keyboard, but actually you do. It's just the capital I, that's, that's actually the only thing that it is. So press shift and then I, now I have a capital I. Now I'm going to hit period and space bar and watch what happens after I hit period and space. Notice that I get this little guy over here. Um, this is going to just let me know that Word has now jumped into automatic formatting. All right, so automatic formatting. So now I know that Word is kind of creating a list format for me. This is really what I was talking about in the beginning when I said this is really cool because it saves a lot of time, but if you don't know what you're doing, it can be very frustrating. All right, so I know that this is going to start doing some things for me, so I just want to be aware of that and make sure that I'm the one in control of all of this. So I'm just going to type and hit enter, type and hit enter, and it's going to just do everything for me. So just take a look at what happens. I'm going to hit enter. All right, so it's automatically created a number two. Automatically created a number three as I hit enter again. All right, so it's going to continue to create that list format for you unless you tell it to stop. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you how to get back and forth between an automatic formatted text and just a regular manually formatted text. So all I'm going to do is hit the backspace. I'm going to hit it three times. Once, I've just gotten rid of that number. Another time, I've moved over to in line with my previous text. And then if I hit it one more time, now I'm flush against my margin again. So that's where I am, and I'm going to put in my transition. All right, great. So as I hit enter again, I know that one more time I want to label the part of my speech. Enter again, jump back out. So same thing we did up in the intro. And now this is where I'm really going to get into showing all of you how to use this automatic formatting function. Because if you noticed up top, all we did was, you know, a one, two, three, four, a simple list. But in the body, it's going to get a little bit more complicated. I'm going to need to be going into subpoints and sub subpoints, and all of those things are symbolized by different indentation and by a different symbol. So I'm going to need to know how to control Microsoft Word but still allow the automatic formatting to take over. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to first just, again, I typed my capital I period space, and that's jumped into automatic formatting. So, you know, here's my main point. That's my main point number one. So now enter. Again, just like up top, Word is going to assume that I'm creating a list. But if I want to change what Word thinks that I'm doing, all I have to do now is hit the tab key. And as I hit the tab key, I've moved over, and Word knows now this isn't just a simple list, but we've moved into an outline. The only problem is that I don't want a lowercase a. I want a capital A. Now, I know intuitively you might just want to type over this, but by typing over this, you're letting Word know that you want to get out of this automatic formatting. So instead of doing that, I'm going to left click on that A, it's going to highlight it, select it for me, then I'm going to right click to pull up a whole menu of options. Now that I have my menu, I want to go to numbering, and you can see that you have a lot of options here. All right, so what I want to do is go up here to my capital letters, and for this class, for a sub point, you're going to want a capital letter. All right, so click on that, and there you go. We have our sub point. So now I have my sub point. I can create another sub point. And if I want to move further and have more detail in my outline, I'm going to use the same process that I used before. So I'm going to hit the tab key, and now I'm going to make it fit my style. So left click to select, right click to bring up a menu, 
numbering and what do I want here? If I have a sub sub point, I'm going to want an Arabic number. All right. Now, here is our last challenge, and that is to go back to a previous level. All right, so say, you know, Microsoft Word is thinking that I'm going to one, two, three, and it's going to continue to keep those numbers. But if I want to go back out to say a, an, a C to make it line up with my A and B, then I'm going to hold shift and hit tab, and it's moved out to C. If I want to move even further out to a number two, then I'm going to again hold shift and hit tab, and I get Roman numeral two. So we have another main point. Great. All right, so once again, let's emphasize how to move back and forth between the automated feature and the manual feature. So if I hit enter, Word already thinks that I'm going into a Roman numeral three. I'm not, so I'm going to hit the backspace three times to get back flush to the margin. Do my transition again. Enter. I'm going to label the next part of my body, or my, my outline, I'm sorry flush against the margin, and now I can go into my conclusion the same way that I was. All right, so let's just finish up by showing you again this header. Remember in the beginning I showed you that I've selected a second, a different header from every page except for the first. So now that we've moved into the second page, I can come in here and I can um, mess with this. Let me just show you how I did this. So what I did, and once I was in here, I wanted to go to insert page numbers. Now I have some options of how I want to insert. But for this class, we always want to do top of the page. So top of the page, and this is the one that I use. I selected this option. So that got me this. After that, then all I did was type in my last name. And now it's going to put this header on all of my other pages, but it'll update the page number for you. So a lot of times I see students trying to do this on their own without using Word's formats, and it creates a big mess because you're trying to move it in line with this, you know, with maybe with this line, and um, as soon as you type, then it jumps it back down to another line, and now it's on the left instead of the right, and half the time I see it in the middle of a page. And it just creates a huge mess. So if you use the automatic function, then you can get it lined up right here. All right, so just to review what we looked at today is I showed you some basic features in Microsoft Word. So I showed you how to set up your outline. Um, I showed you in the home button where to get your text, your paragraph. I also showed you how to use a basic list function and that create, turn that list function into an outline, and also how to transition back and forth between the automated feature and the manual feature, where we're just typing text not in a list format. All right, so that is pretty much everything that you should need for this class. You will see another tutorial video coming up on how to use the references in Microsoft Word as you start doing reference papers, and that will save you a lot of time as well. So look for that, but other than that, if you have any questions, come talk to me before or after class down at the Comm Lab, or shoot me an email, and I will see you all in class. Thanks for listening.